Um, so, uh, so if you're watching the VOD of this, uh, you're just coming in because my microphone wasn't working. Um, Sci-Fi is doing well and is writing a mecha game. Uh, Kelsa is doing awesome and knits. And uh, Michael... I'm a smartass, and that's, like, yeah. basically it. There we yeah. go. My week was good, too. Accurate. <laughs> good. My week was good, too. <laughs> so, um, you, all, you also have probably noticed that we are minus a PN. Uh, PN had some stuff going on, so uh, they will not be joining us tonight, uh, which means Naili will be busy doing Naili's stuff. She's going to have a solo adventure. It'll be fun. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let's get into Long Falls. So, um, I had this whole plan that hinged on Liz being here, and now Liz <laughs> is not here. Um, <laughs> Uh, whose fault yeah, is that? I, I think we get a. I think we get a. Um, uh, I think we get our. We get our. We get our quote for the episode. We get our quote for the episode, and it's it written in the same like swirling aether font, and it says, uh, "Statistics have consistently proven that all violent crime that ends in a death will result in a disappearance if the individual responsible is not found within three hours." With very few exceptions, the police department has found this to be true. Uh, Okiwando City Bureau of Statistics. That sounds like uh, a really a, boring department and also a department Zajo would probably work for. It's also a really depressing department. Oh, right? yeah. Yeah. You're like, you're like, like, these are the people that like predict, if this goes offline for three days, how many people are going to die of starvation? Yeah. Right, like it's it's super sad. Them hard truth. It's super sad. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, you got about three hours to find the perp, or the body's just probably gone. Um, mm -hmm. which so it's, it, yeah, in our in our world, it's like it's like a few days or whatever. You got you and, got you got, four, you got forty eight hours generally. Yeah, on a disappearance before the trail goes. But that's forward. because we have ground and things. Uh, and you know modern tech, modern like communication right. technology. Right, and in Longfall, uh, there's there's you know there's there's there's, there's nothing. <laughs> Bodies are incredibly easy to dispose of. Yep. Um. So we uh, we we cut in on a shot that is identical to the one that ended the last episode, and I don't mean the Chibis having dinner. I mean. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the, the gloved hand reaching out and shaking his Elkas. Um, oh, yeah. Thing. So what is it you wanted to discuss? It's not an easy thing to say. Eerie. Well, then maybe we should sit down. And then uh, Eerie, the that everyone here should know is the leader of the Cat Eye Cartel sits down across from his Elka. Oh. At, uh, at the Three Dancers Bar in the dance hall. There have, um, there've been, uh, there've been some complications that I thought you should be aware of. And, uh, there've been some complications that I've become aware of. They're related. Well, um, Zelka, I think you'll find I hear a lot of things as part of my work. Um, but if you have inf new information, yeah. I'll gladly take it. Uh, what was the name of that guy? Hackett. I'm sure you're familiar with the name of Hackett? Um, am I talking to a friend or am I talking to a cop? I think that's what I'm here to find out. Very well. I'm going to assume friend until proven otherwise. Yes. That's what I was hoping. And that was to her saying that she was going to assume friend. Um, and so you, she, uh, 
He used to work for me. She nods. I'm also where you brought him in recently. He was very eager to uh, say anything he could to get out of uh, being processed. I'm not I figured clear. he would. I'm not entirely clear how much information that he had, but he was certainly threatening to provide quite liberally that you should be aware of uh, such, such going on. Let me put it this way, Azoka. You're lucky you know my name. I think I understand. Yes, people know my face and have a vague impression of what I do, but no one actually knows who I am. I'm very meticulous about that. I'm happy to hear it. Sorry. <laughs> Ignore that. <laughs> we see Zajay peeking over the window in the background. <laughs> ignore it. I said ignore it. Uh, so she she like Look Harry, I know that you're good at what you do and uh, I believe that. But as I came here as a friend as a friend, I'm warning you that You may not be as safe as you think you are. I'm fully aware. Um, I have uh, several new outfits trying to move in on my turf. They're poaching my people. They're putting my clients at risk. You want to talk about that? Maybe there's something that I can do. Um, hmm. She like, she like thinks for a second, maybe plays with her hair a little bit. It's complicated. Um, the products and services I provide are very much meant to be top quality, mm -hmm. safe to use within reason. And are not priced to be accessible in the event that someone should try to abuse them. However, other individuals have been coming in and taking an opposite tact. Uh, cheap products, in theory, are laced with God knows what and God knows when, and selling it for almost cost. They're able to turn a much higher volume than me, but their product is much more dangerous and their clients die by the dozens. I've heard about this. Red Eye is becoming a pretty big problem in the tail. I agree. And honestly, your product is what, what some might consider a necessary evil for the city to run properly. There's, um, I don't want to get into the politics of it. I, I'm aware that whether or not it's legal or not, my business keeps the economy of this city running. Is that I don't a, like admitting it, but huh? I don't like admitting it, but that's true. And honestly, I'd prefer to see your product on the street than the red eye. I would me. as well. That's why you, I've been. You can help me, and I can help you. You think saving as many people as possible from horrible death is really what I'm all about. Well, Isoka, um... how do I put this? Putting you in a situation where you are seen having business dealings with me makes both of us a target. We're just two friends having dinner here. That may very well be true, but heaven forbid someone assumed that there was more going on than just that. Are you asking not to see me again? No, no, I'm asking to be very, very careful with how you choose to contact me. 
um, a more secure location would probably be ideal. I may technically own this place, but I don't control who comes in here. That's why it seemed to be the, um, both of us, both of us are, have reasons to be here. I was here just the other night. It's not unusual. I'm aware. She kind of like smirks. He's cute. Hmm. Like I said, I hear and see a lot of things. I'm sure you do. If not here, then where? <sighs> she like thinks for a minute. I'll arrange a safe place for future reference and I'll give you the location once that's set up. Sound good? Fine. I'm not going to stop coming by here, though, you know? <sighs> hey, if you want to give me your hard earned money for my business, I'm fine with that. Besides, it's nice that I have someone I actually like using my businesses. That doesn't happen very often. Well, I'm here if you decide to share my table. Maybe it will not be unusual. She, she's like, she's like kind of being like, I don't, I'm not exactly sure how to respond to that. I, don't I worry about it. I think you can tell. Um, no, no, no. Um, I value your friendship and you've helped me out a lot. Uh, it's not like I'm asking you to dance. If cats could blush, um, <laughs> she just like doesn't know what to do. She's just like, yeah, yeah. I'm actually really bad at dancing. <laughs> that's believe, believe it or not, my wife's the one that's good at that part. I'm just kind of. She's a pretty amazing dancer. I know, right? She's it, there. There's, there's kind of like the smile, like. Yeah, it's pretty great. But it, but it, there's also like, there's something else going on there that you maybe can't quite tell mm. unless you want to make a roll for it. Yeah, let's make a roll. Let's... Uh, perception, uh, please. Let's perceive a thing. Let me double check that I don't have any weird... Um, any weird skills that would be applicable here. Nope, nope. I'm trying to... I'm trying to... I'm trying to think. She she is actively trying to hide this. And is there a rule for me to take a like specifically fail a role uh in order to um your flaw if you're yeah, flaw you like to invoke a flaw. Uh-huh. But see, this is relying on out of character information. I don't think. All right, let me roll. Let me roll, and then we'll talk about my thing. Okay, so perception. Yeah. Uh, neither advantage nor disadvantage. What do we get? Sixteen. It's not uh, bad. Let me. Yeah, yeah, you get it. You get it. Um, you can, you can tell that there's both a like, yeah, my wife is pretty great, and there's also like a, oh, my wife is so perfect. Mm. There's like the, the slightest hint of frustration mm. with, oh, my wife is amazing at all these things and can kind of like be in the public eye, and I am just like the scary one that sits in the corner. <laughs> right mm -hmm, and that mm -hmm. sort of makes sense with what you know about her kind of being secretive and always worried about stuff mm -hmm. um, so that that reads in your mind that like oh i gotta i gotta worry about my wife because she lives a very public life and i live a very private one mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so that 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 totally jives with your understanding of this woman 
do you comment on um, that or are you just kind of like yeah whatever i don't think so yeah I, I don't think she comments on it i think she just like like zilk will remember this yeah yeah and, and um, she doesn't she doesn't notice you noticing obviously mm -hmm. um so Azulka um, is is just kind of like, well, I appreciate you um, taking the time to see me. Make sure that it's more discreet next time. Shouldn't be a problem. I have plenty of places to hide. She she like still still be next time. Eh. Like I said, I need more friends. She like winks. Um, and she like, uh, and I, I'm guessing you guys continue talking, just mm -hmm. kind of chit chatty, catching up. Like dinner is delivered, and then we we talk about yeah, just whatever the the play that's currently in theaters or what have you. Yeah, yeah. She's been reading. Um, she talks a lot about a book. Oh she's my been god! Reading. Do they have a book club where they both read the same book? They totally oh. do. Yes, they do. <laughs> they totally Perfect. do. And she's just like, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan, but it's, it's kind of steamy. Really, <laughs> I really don't like the protagonist, but the, um, the, uh, the relationship between the, uh, the, the love interest and her best friend is very interesting. It's very. Uh, yeah, I'll, I will say that. I wish they would flesh that out a little bit more. I agree. It's just kind of like a background. Facet. Anyway, I don't. <laughs> I don't know. And so yeah, you just like talk about the books that you guys both read together. Yep. Brilliant. Um, no, we, we can, you know, fade out on that uh, scene. So Azelka's secret has been revealed. <laughs> She's best friends apparently with, with Eerie Cat Eye. Um, perfect. <laughs> um. Zajay, where are you at? Um, is it still nighttime or is it morning? I'm guessing it's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's morning. Okay, back home. Uh, probably got in like later, late-ish. Like, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'm like if morning. Get up, uh, mm -hmm. do my thing, uh, scrub my scales, mm -hmm. um. We get to like we get we, dude. I, mean, I feel like Zaje sings in the shower for some reason. <laughs> I, feel like we, I feel like we just see your like like multiple arms like rubbing each other down. <laughs> well, like it's probably like it's probably not like a shower. More, it's just like an area where you like put because we're not like we're technically like, we're not allowed to have a lot of water, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like... Yeah, yeah. I mean, that doesn't mean you don't have a lot of water. It just means you aren't allowed to have water. Your dad totally built a rain catch. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Catch, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Your dad your dad is... and Which is not technically illegal. It's just kind of, like, frowned upon. Because it's like, you should be giving that to the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. All right, yeah. So, um... Yeah, getting ready. Then uh, heads downstairs... Uh, um, uh, Suri is actually like over. Oh, uh, and she's talking to your mom downstairs, and Buzz is there, and he's like cooking again. <laughs> <laughs> he's got another. He's got an. He's got his apron on, and he's like cooking. He's like making like. <laughs> yeah, that's why. Like they kind of look like crepes, but they're like made of like rice flour. Okay. Um, um, yeah, so uh, Zaja slithers in. Um, yeah, and like, you hear the you hear the like tail end of a conversation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And she's just like, um, "Take two of these tonight at home, and have lots drink lots of water, okay?" And she like hands her um, hands her a small like bundle. Yeah, then Zaja like comes in at that like face like brightens up a big, big smile like. Hi, Suri. Suri looks both like, oh, hey, Zajay. Oh, shit, Zajay. <laughs> <laughs> Suri, 
she like she like tucks whatever your mom just gave her back into her her um her bag. Morning, mom. Like, morning, Buzz. Morning. Oh, and then Zadie like like really quickly like start like slithers around, kind of has to go over his tail a little bit, and then just quickly leaves the room. And then like forty seconds later, ever comes back in with like the little thing that his mom gave him uh, the, the other night. Um. You roll your agility for me. Okay. <laughs> the difficulty 15. Okay. <laughs> it should not be hard for you. I just made it. <laughs> yeah, Maylee's clearly about to go when you like you like get there and she's like, oh hey, hey Zajay. Sorry. Uh you okay? You mean you said yeah, yeah, Suri's about to bounce. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, so I like hurried up, went went up, came, then came, came back down really quick, and I'm just like catching her at the door or whatever. Um, I forget I I forget what my mom, what she gave me to give to her. Was it like a um It was like a like a cinnamon tea. Yeah, yeah, it was like a cinnamon yeah, yeah, yeah. So like a little little bag of that stuff or whatever. Like, um Oh, sorry. Um if you're at I, I here. She uh, like, takes the tea and like looks at it and she's like, oh, uh, Thanks, and she, she like puts it in her bag. I got that for you. I know you were, I, you've been going through a lot of stuff, so I figured getting you something would be nice. And she looks up at your mom for a second, like, what? And then looks, looks like, like kind of like shakes it off and looks back at you, and she's like, yeah, thanks, mm -hmm. thanks. Yeah, that, that means a lot. I know, I know you're going through a lot at the shop and all everything. Yeah, so. yeah. Um. So yeah, I, I, I hope you like it. Thanks. Uh, I'm, I'm sure it'll be delicious. Mm. So did you get to meet Buzz? Buzz, like, looks up from his, like, making whatever he's making. He's like, we did get a chance to meet. Cool. She's a very interesting woman. Good. Good. Did you, like, peek inside or anything? or like? No. I did not consent to that. <laughs> oh, okay. That's good. And she's, she's just like, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> um, is she like slowly inching towards the door? Like she wants yeah, to, leave, to like, leave, like, like progressively. Okay. Like she's yeah, yeah, doing yeah. it in like anime style. So it's more like, like really slow jump. <laughs> <laughs> like she, she that the animation. Yeah. 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 She's um, doing that. Like, um, I, well, if, if, if you have to leave, I guess I can, uh, we can, we can talk later. Yeah, yeah, I gotta, I gotta get some, I gotta get some stuff taken care of before tonight. Um, okay. See you later. Yeah, talk to you later. All right. Bye. Bye. And she like, she like two-handed wave. Out, takes out, and then you hear the like the aether aether moped like rev. Uh huh. And she like heads out. Um. Yeah, I slow back into the kitchen. Like, I think she liked. I think she liked the gift. I I'm sure she did, sweetie. Um, yeah. That like slither over to Buzz, like. Um, Ignore that. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're rolling. Uh, Ignore that. <laughs> Kelsey's like, oh god, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't want to know what that means. I don't either. I have theories. <laughs> I do too. Uh, um, it's a one, so it can only mean nothing good. <laughs> Even though it's a 1D2. You're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing good. Great. Um, uh, yeah, so like, like Zaja gets a plate of the weird crepe stuff uh, and like goes and slithers over to sit down to eat. Um, and then looks up at his mom and like, what, is, what was the story stopping over for? Oh, she was just picking up some medicine for her mom. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait. Uh, okay. Deary me. Um, and Buzz, Buzz like starts to say something. Buzz, like raises a finger, and you can see his like. Um, Zaji like, uh, like, like turns his head down to eat, and he's about to do that. Like, photographs like, yeah. start to spin. 
And then her, your mom shoots him a look, and then he just like puts his finger down and goes back to working. Evil, evil snake look, and then <laughs> she like kisses at him a little bit. Hmm. Oh, nothing, nothing. Hmm. Buzz was about to burn. Oh, burn okay. The, the crepes. Oh, they're really good. Good job, Buzz. As I said, I was required to cook for Umlau. <laughs> My other friend that you killed, Wiz, he did all the cleaning, I, I, but I, I was I, primarily I, responsible for cooking. I, I, we, well, he, it was self-defense, so we, I had to, you know, we had to do... I, I mean, you did rip his heart out. Oh, we can, we can... I'm, I'm sorry. It's okay. I forgive you. He was kind of a jerk. Oh. If it makes you feel any better. I, not, I'm... And then, your, then your mom looks at him like, that's not what you told me. I'll see what I can do about that. It's fine. Um, okay, well, I should, be, I should be going to work. So, Happy working. Thank you for the food. Uh, and then your mom over. gives you a hug on the way mm -hmm. out and it's like, hey, Sanjay, maybe give Suri a little bit of space for like a day or two. Hmm? I think she's really stressed out right now and I think she just needs some time. Oh, okay. Um, he like looks like a little confused at that. Like, why? Why wouldn't she want? What? Like, like why would she want space? Right. Like, like, I, like if she, if like she, if she's it, having a hard time, wouldn't she like want a friend there? Ex that's exactly what's going through his head. Like, why I should help if I can? Like, why? Like, you're so sweet. <laughs> I know. I, I don't get it. Like, what? What? Mm -hmm. Like, how can I help by giving her space? That concept just does not hit him at all. <laughs> it's like, mm -hmm. uh, um, okay, I guess. I'm um, gonna start a clock. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> start a clock. Jeez. <sighs> you poor, poor kid. Um. um yeah, it's probably it's, it's extremely obvious that Zaj is very confused, but he just like, oh yeah, um, okay, I, I can kind of give her some space for a little while. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um. I'll, I'll I'll see you tonight when I get back. And then I yep, slither out the door in a way. Poor snake boy. Poor snake boy. <laughs> so you, um, you're, you're on your way to work. Um, you're on your way to work. I'm guessing that Zelka is probably going to be on her way to work as well. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Lyle, you're like, Yes. You're like you're like you're like doing your I'm sleeping on my couch or whatever, wherever mm -hmm. you sleep. <laughs> like on that pile of milk crates and old newspapers. <laughs> That's a bed. bed. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, but the it may be the only per, it may be the only piece of furniture in his house, but he has a bed. <laughs> he has a bed. Okay. So you're like on your bed and you just you hear loud obnoxious banging at your door. Like, Mr. Loyal, Mr. Loyal, come quick, come quick. Oh, good, it's uh, Urchin Boy. <laughs> it's Zephyr, yeah. <laughs> All right, I opened the door for uh, Oliver Twist. <laughs> um, uh, he has, like, a bloody handprint on his chest. <laughs> what? Uh, what? What? <laughs> uh, what happened? Come quick, he's like, he doesn't look hurt, though. He, like, grabs your arm and he just, like, starts dragging you. <laughs> All right. Like, out into the hall. Um, <laughs> as he's trying, what's going on? Um, yeah, uh, your only other friend is sitting there, Alicia. Sweet. Um, her, like, Aether tech arm. I like how you say other friend, assuming I'm friends with Oliver Twist. <laughs> <laughs> Their name is Zephyr. You're, you're he's the yourself. paper boy. <laughs> like, he's like the he's nicest. He's not my friend. <laughs> I wouldn't go get a drink with him. He's nice. You wouldn't get a drink with him because they're nine. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But 
I wouldn't um, let him hang out on my porch or like So her like... um anyway, back to the back to the description yeah. of the crime scene. Um so she's sitting there like cross-legged looking just like blank. Like nothing's going on. Mm-hmm. Um and she's just looking at the wall. Her um Cybernetics have obviously been damaged, but they're not cybernetics, they're like aether prosthetics, but they've been like clearly severely damaged. Uh-huh. Uh, and her other two hands are just covered in like reddish black fluid. Sure. Is there anything else of note? Uh she doesn't have her weapons. I see. Is and that she's unusual? not acknowledging your presence? Uh I wave my hand in front of her face. Nothing happens. I gently tap her shoulder. Can you make a perception check for me? Sure. Uh, character sheets. That's how this game works. Ah, that is how yeah. <laughs> Useful. Of course. Uh-huh. I see. <laughs> ah. Um, do I have any advantages on perception? Um, that's all you're good at. <laughs> yeah, uh, I have. He can shoot things. Okay, no. Uh, my only advantage to perception is uh through scent perk, which doesn't really apply here. I don't think. Uh, <laughs> you smell no. her frustration. No. Yeah. Uh, so no advantage or disadvantage. <laughs> mm-hmm. Actually, take. Oh well, it's already been rolled. I was going to take it. I was gonna say take an extra advantage, but I can um, roll an advantage if that'll push that over the. Uh, I can roll a d8 and add it to that. Yeah, roll a roll a d8. You still might actually get it. You have to roll high, but you might still get it. Four. So that puts the total up to a twelve. Nope. Nope. You get some stuff, but you don't get you don't get the key yeah. detail. Um. She's clearly um. She's clearly not like she's not wounded. This is uh, someone else's someone blood. Someone else's blood. Um, and you've definitely seen this happen to other people before, uh, and it's usually Logan's fault. I see. Uh, can she, like, walk? I mean, you gotta find a way to snap her out of it first. Can I just, like, pick her up? Yeah, sure. You, you, you like, lift... Do you like princess carry her into your room? Pretty, pretty much. <laughs> I mean, Zephyr, she looks is, like... Zephyr is following you and is I mean... <laughs> weirdly silent. Like you've never heard him be this quiet. And she's just like, I mean, like it just looks like she needs a place to lay down, and I have a bed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you, you, um... yeah, I uh, bring her in, set her down on the, on the bed. Uh, I turn to Zephyr. Uh-huh. Uh, Zephyr's just, like, looking at her, like, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, what happened, what happened, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. He's, like, Zephyr. freaking, he's, like, quietly <laughs> freaking out. Yeah. Zephyr, what happened? I, I, I don't know. And she, I come up to sell you my last paper, and he comes up to sell you his last paper every morning. <laughs> right. And she was just sitting there. Hmm. Well, this can't be good. It's not. (laughs) (laughs) How did did you get blood on you, Zephyr? Um, when I tried to shake her awake, she grabbed my shit. Is that, is he lying? He, he's not lying. He, okay. he, he's too distraught to lie right now. All right. Uh, I give him a coin and I'm just like, leave the paper by the door. I'll handle it. Get out of here, Zephyr. 
Oh, no, Mr. Law, he just, like, throws the paper, like, like the, the charge on the ground, and just leaves. Yeah. <laughs> just drops it where he's standing and just walks out. <laughs> um, All right, I'm going to try and uh, wake up uh, the chief. How would you like to attempt to do that? Tell me um, what you're doing. Are you just slapping her around to, like, are you, like, pouring water over her head? How, how loud is an aether crystal? Pretty loud. Can I shoot my gun in the ceiling? He's a cop. It's fine. Right? Oh. Would it break? All right. Would it break the ceiling? Yes, no. This <laughs> house just falls apart. Ceiling, yes. Okay. If it goes through the ceiling, that's why. I'm just kind of like bang some pens together. <laughs> <laughs> So you like you like start to like raise your gun and you look at it, you're like oh that's, that's a no idea. Ceiling. Yeah. And then so you you like walk over to your like kitchenette, you pull out your one like frying I, pan. My my one frying pan and I guess to something bang it against is my short sword. <laughs> so you take the hilt of your short sword and you're dun, 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 dun. Yeah. yeah, yeah, roll roll logic for me. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> Well, incredibly low difficulty. You just need higher than a 10. Uh, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Here comes logic. There we go. 11. My so, logic yeah, she is like, a she like, she, her like, her like, like her, her one hand goes up to her ear to cover it, and then one of her other hand, her prosthetics, like starts <laughs> to move and then like sparks and like stops. She's like, wow, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> okay. And then What's she like, a- she like pulls her hand back and now there's a bloody handprint on the side of her face and she looks oh. at it and she's like oh my god what the what happened i was about to ask you what happened what what ha- what happened and then the like the like ha- other hand like spasms a couple times mm-hmm. and then like a like a a piece of real paper falls out and like just like lands on the bed. Mm. Okay, I pick That's up the paper. That's expensive as shit. Mm. But as yeah, opposed you open to all it the fake paper in, I've heard about. <laughs> in like perfect, in like perfect red calligraphy. Mm-hmm. Um, it just says, if I have to arrange another one of these meetings on my own, it's going to be worse. Okay. Uh, Lyle's expression, uh, goes from concerned to serious. Uh, I... <laughs> what does your concerned face look like that's not serious? It's, it's just, just <laughs> it's just, like, he's thinking so hard, and he's not very smart. <laughs> <laughs> we get the incredibly tight zoom on your face, and we just see a single, like, vein. Yeah. Pop. <laughs> like, like Lyle, he knows the streets. He knows his way around the city. But if you ask him to help on your math homework, he will be stumped. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So I go over. I uh, grab the chief by the shoulders. I look her in the eyes and I say, "All right, focus up. What's the last thing you remember?" Uh, I got a call at my desk. From? I don't know. I just answered it because I have to because it's my job. What did they say? I don't remember. I show her the uh, note and explain to her that it's from uh, Logan. And Logan probably did this to her. I'm more worried about what I did to somebody else, honestly, because she's very clearly covered in blood. Right. Uh, Do you have a shower? Uh. <laughs> yes. Uh, do I? Yes. Okay. 
Sure. Do you like uh, do you like say something or are you just like why do you need my while, shower? Wiles is like uh all right. Let's let's just get let's get our get together, get to the station. We'll we'll work this out. I'm gonna take a shower first. Do you okay. have, let me you Yes. And finally she just like stands up and she like goes to kinda of, like push you out of the way with her like prosthetic arm, but yeah. it doesn't work. Like, you you might wanna be careful with that. She just like like reaches up and like presses something and like disconnects a big section of it and just drops it on the ground. Ooh. And then she like just walks into the bathroom and you just hear the water start. All right, I'm just gonna be uh, looking at the inner workings of her prosthetic arm for a bit. Would you like to roll logic to learn something about it? Sure. Yeah, sure. Fifteen plus. <laughs> I am not a clever man. <laughs> Logic. Bam. Seven. <laughs> it's clearly magic and you have it's no like, idea what it is. It's like well it's like when you when you're like uh when you're a kid and someone pops open the hood of a car for uh -huh. the first time and you're like, Whoa, what do all these things do? <laughs> <laughs> you have You're like the Vegas there area, and you're like, oh, this kind of looks like the seer on my pistol, but that's not clearly yeah. not a seer. Yeah, like, this doesn't, this doesn't this make any sense. This kind of looks like this, but I doubt this needs a, a gun chamber. <laughs> like, <laughs> I doubt there needs to be a barrel in this yeah, assembly. Right. Why is there this spring that clearly operates the slide? It doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> no. So well, she comes back, um, and, and he's turned her arm into a gun. <laughs> Here you go. If, if I think only, I think we, I think you're we Mega just Man now. On you, just like, I think that's like the last scene. Is you, you see you like looking down at it. It's <laughs> like this doesn't just, make any sense, I'm and it's so... hard to tell whether you're being like this doesn't yeah. make any sense to the arm or to like <laughs> the situation. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Well, that seems like a good place to take a break. Right. Sure, sounds good. Um, well, that was our first part of tonight's episode. Uh, plenty of stuff happened. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and yeah, come back uh, in a few minutes for part two of tonight's episode of Longfall. See you in a bit.